Let's go to talk about Louis Gohmert. I'm just having fun there with the Gubert stuff. It doesn't make sense, but work with me. Okay. Uh, he uh, was giving a speech recently about the immorality of spending. He got a little carried away. Let's listen. People have got to understand that we're serious about stopping the massive load we are putting on our children and their children. It is one of the most immoral things this country has ever done. I've got a massive load and I don't know where to put it. And you gotta watch out for the children with the massive load. Okay. All right, look, so far, not that outrageous, but he's about to make it worse. Slavery and abortion, uh, the two most horrendous things this country has done. But when you think about the immorality of wild, lavish spending on our generation and forcing future generations to do without essentials just so we can live lavishly now, it's pretty immoral. Whoa, whoa, whoa. First of all, he was merciful and said, okay, slavery a little worse than deficit spending. Oh, thanks God. <laughs> okay. But did, to call it one of the most immoral things the country's ever done, there was that little thing we did to the Native Americans where we killed most of them. There was that thing with the nuclear bombs. Now look, a lot of people think that it was justified. I'm not sure I'm among them, but we did nuke 100,000 citizens, at least in two different cities let alone the fire bombings of Tokyo, Dresden, etc. And you might say, hey, we're in the middle of a war, let alone Agent Orange in Vietnam and the fire bombings of civilians there. And the list goes on and on and on. Now, look, we've also done some great things in the country. I'm not trying to blame people for what happened two, three hundred years ago. But to say that de a little bit of deficit spending is one of the most immoral things we've ever done, only Louis Gubert would say such a thing. That's ridiculous. And by the way, they did austerity spending in uh, uh, Great Britain. They're about to hit a triple dip recession. How's that for immoral? That winds up hurting the whole country, it sets everybody back. So we have an honest disagreement on what level of deficit spending we should do. And by the way, I think we should do less deficit spending. But to call it one of the most immoral things we've done in the country is the typical Louis Gohmert insanity. Now, you guys know, did you see my tweets? I ran into Gohmert over the weekend. Isn't that hilarious? I'm randomly at this hotel and um, I see the David Horowitz Freedom Center conference there. I'm like, David Horowitz? That's that crazy conservative nut job. So I Googled it while I was at the hotel. And uh, they're like, yeah, the point of the conference was to stop liberal and Islamist infiltration of the country. And there I am, yeah. infiltrating them. Yeah. <laughs> and you know who was that? Louis Gohmert, Michelle Bachman, Ron Johnson, um, and, and oh, uh, Ben Stein, and the list goes on and on, okay? And I went into one of their me meeting things, and that's where I saw Gohmert. And he's just sitting there, I, I, man, I couldn't do it. I was like, should I go up to him and say, hey man, I just gotta tell you, you're, I believe you're the number one dumbest congressman in America, right? But I couldn't pull the trigger, so I, I kind of feel bad about it. But he's just sitting there writing some stupid speech, like that dumb grin on his face and his head shining and shit. <laughs> and I, I, I didn't have the heart to do it to him. And they're showing a video about it. Oh, the Muslims are coming. And I thought of going in there and going, over under on number of heart attacks would have been three. Okay. And then Michael Schur pointed out when I told him this story, over under on number of shots fired in my direction would have been seven. Okay. The flip side is they probably would have missed and hit each other. <laughs> By the way, the entire, I looked around, I can't speak for the whole convention, but of the ones of the people I saw, literally 100% white. Not a black guy, not an Asian guy, not a Latino guy, nothing, not an Indian guy, nothing, wall to wall white folks. And if, look, I, I, I don't think I'm imagining this. I got like three or four sideways looks like. Now it could have been that I had like a baseball cap on and they were better dressed and stuff. 
So that's totally possible. But they are at a, <laughs> at a convention about Muslim and liberal infiltration. It's my bad that I didn't at least go up to the registration and say, Salaamu Alaikum, what brings you here? 